Ha <laughs> how's it going everybody? It's me, your boy, Tropicals. Welcome back to Minecraft Survival, episode number three. So, I kind of realized something. Uh, isn't it kind of funny, awkward you could even say, that it's episode number three now, and we don't have a single starter farm, like, <laughs> anywhere in the world. Back over at spawn, we have a beautiful tower, of course. Beautiful. Strong emphasis on beautiful. You can't say anything else about it. Back over at spawn, we have that tower. It's a thing. And over here, we have this mountain, but not a single starter farm. Oh wait, until now. Look at me go. A brand new farm and it's already grown. I also have a piece of sugar cane, so I figured I would plant it here. Today's episode, we have a lot to do. At the beginning of the episode, we're going to have to wait for this wheat to grow, so... I have an idea. Start of the episode, it's back out to the sea for me. The dolphins, Grace, uh, truly, genuinely, thank you. Th this is definitely needed. This is going to help me hunt cod, like, so much. Like, the speed. It it'll make it so easy to hit the cod. When we take out the fish, we have a chance to get bone meal. It's pretty amazing. I figured if we could get like two more pieces of bone meal, we could probably grow that wheat all the way up and start setting up a sheep farm. For today's build, we're going to need wool, like a lot of it. I'm also going to need wood, including my favorite type of wood in the world. I'm so excited. Is that a piece of bone meal? Oh, it is a piece of bone meal. Maybe we're golden. So if you missed last episode, how dare you? Not only would that be considered an insult to me, but it would also be considered an insult to at least three generations of your family. That's pretty rough. Don't do it again. In the last episode, we left spawn. I lost inspiration at spawn. We found this beauty of a spot. Definitely didn't lose any inspiration. Today, we're going to set up our starter house up there by the mountain. But like I mentioned, for today's build, we're going to need wool. So I figure we start by setting up a small sheep pen right here. Small? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's definitely what I would call it. We'll expand it later. We'll move them. We'll give them a glorious home one day. Just uh, not today. Now, sheep. When I was swimming around in the water, I noticed the sheep right over here. This is, like, perfect. I guess, really, all we need is, like, two to keep them captive, just so they don't go anywhere. I mean, really, considering the size of the pen that I just built, four sheep is probably pushing it a little bit, but four sheep it is. They chose this life, not me. All right, so single file, everybody, right this way. Single file. Perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful. How about the other one? Uh, and, like, all of you. L let's go. Come on. Come on. I know you can do it. Oh, you're smart. You're really smart. You, on the other hand, standing by the door, I don't know about that. So I don't really need to breed the sheep right now, I just need to remember to shear them. Throughout the entire episode, I need to continuously shear these things. I think I'm gonna need, like, literally, like, two stacks of wool for what I'm gonna build today. And we're not gonna let that happen again. Hill, it has to go away, and this sheep, it gets to live in the wild. A happy life. I feel like that was a little bit of a loaded statement. To be clear, the sheep living inside of the pen that I built, they're very happy, I, I promise. So now we're headed over to this mountain right here, because this is where I first saw spruce trees. We need spruce wood. While I make my way over to the mountain to collect my very first spruce wood of the world, I need you to reminisce with me. Think back to the first episode. I know, I know, it was a long time ago now, a couple days ago, very long time ago, but think back to that first episode. In that first episode, somewhere in there, I said something about doing a big build, and I was going to need a ton of wood. Then, in the second episode, I built a, a build, a, a thing. That's how we'll refer to it from this point on. I built a thing. Like all things are, really, that thing, it was definitely a thing, for sure. However, it wasn't the big thing that I was planning on building. Today, that's what we're going to go for. The starter house, it needs to be a strong, big house. I need a lot of room inside of this house. My plan is to build this house and have this be basically our main house for like a really, really long time. Hopefully, I can redeem myself with today's build because last, uh, the last build, that thing, yeah. Uh, that's the last time we're ever going to acknowledge it. But anyways, for this build we're going to set up today, I'm going to need a lot of wool, and I'm going to need a lot of logs, like tons and tons of wood. So much wood that I'm actually planning on downgrading the axe back to stone. I don't really want to burn through all of the iron that I have right now on axes, so stone axes it is. I'm going to try and get a lot of wood, like way more wood than I would ever need right now, so I don't have to go back over to the forest at all. I could just start the build and finish the build. Oh yeah, one more thing. While I was chopping down the first spruce trees of the world, I got a couple spruce saplings. The plan for spruce wood? Grow those big giant spruce trees. Just chop a couple of those things down i'll get stacks and stacks of logs in no time oak wood is going to be a little bit harder to collect and then birch wood unfortunately i'm going to need a little bit more birch wood too that'll be tricky to collect too but it'll be fine i've done it hopefully uh, the entire job is done check this out a little bit of wood a little bit more wood way more wood we have so much wood right now we should hopefully be good for the entire build today I hope. So that brings us to the wool, which I have like 45 of sitting inside of that chest trying to keep the inventory clean, and the build. So I, I was thinking about the build and what I want to do in this world for the first build. It needs to be something big, something cool. We have to redeem ourselves for sure. The only way I think to redeem ourselves is definitely going to be a ship. I was figuring uh, we could build a ship inside of this bay right here. It's pretty cool looking, and then we have the mountain in the background. But then I thought about it, and I mean, like, that that's good. It, it would work for sure. But I think there is a better spot that we could build this ship potentially, like right there. I think that's the perfect spot for a ship. 
So believe it or not, the whole time I've been living over here at this mountain, so like a total of probably two hours in game now, I've never climbed the mountain. I have no clue what the view is like from up here. I'm sure it's really, really good though. The terrain is just so amazing in this update. If I had the render distance like a little bit higher, 1.18.1 is going to move the fog. Uh, but if I had the render distance like a little bit higher, I could see the mountain. That could be pretty sweet. That makes me think that the ship should probably sit like... Maybe, like, coming off of the mountain this way, so then I can, like, see the other mountain right there, see all of this. I mean, it's really just, like, a bay and an ocean. Maybe eventually we build something there. But, like, this mountain. Anyways, this mountain. I've never climbed it before, and I've also never named it. I'm gonna need your help. We need a name for the mountain. If you have a name idea, throw it down in the comments. It's a community effort, a little bit of a game of sorts. If you see a name down in the comments that you like, leave a like on that comment. The most liked comment is the name of this mountain forever. <laughs> Hopefully I don't regret this. Ha, huh, aha, powder snow. Mm hmm. That could be potentially really dangerous. We're gonna have to be careful about that. But anyways, the mountain, the view where we build our base today, I'm thinking like right here, like this is a flat spot that we could build off of. That could be really, really good. Maybe we do like a couple blocks higher up right out this way. Then we could have this amazing view looking out over this whole area, looking over there. I can see it now. Eventually we build farms all over the field and the sky right here. We're by an ocean, which is going to be great for mob farms. Yep, this is it. This is where the farm goes. Base. This is where the base goes. Anyways, time to start building. So a gigantic floating ship. Inside of this ship, hopefully in the bottom of it, we'll have room for a storage room. Eventually, we're going to build a proper storage building, for sure, definitely. But that eventually just isn't exactly going to be today. I'd like to hopefully set the ship up in a way so I could actually use it like... Ideally, I'd like to set the ship up in a way so that we don't have to worry about any kind of starter house or anything like that for like a long time. Storage building, it's inside of the ship. Starter house is inside of the ship. Good view, it's also inside of the ship. The goal with the ship base, really, it could be boiled down to one thing. That one thing is actually multiple things. A multifunctional base that checks all boxes. It does everything that we need for us for like a long time. That way we can focus on other things like iron farms, other farms, and other things. You know, like other things. I am definitely realizing uh, now, though, that with a ship being built up in the air like this and the bed being all the way down there, like somewhere over there, I swear. Um, yeah, this is going to be like a lot of up and down. <laughs> Maybe what I should do is at least move the, the bed up higher and also and also I think it's going to get really dark. So we're going to leave a torch right there so mobs don't start spawning under the ship. That's going to be a problem. We'll have to fix that later. From down here on the ground, this thing that I built in the sky, <laughs> it looks nothing like a ship yet, but but trust me, trust me, we'll give it a chance. Uh, it's early in the build. It's a stated true and known fact that I've been to Paris to study lighthouse building architecture. Maybe, to be honest, I should have studied a little bit harder because, uh, well, yeah, but also, did you know I've been to Ibiza to study shipbuilding techniques as well? In my time abroad, I have not only learned shipbuilding techniques, but also, quite possibly, the best shipbuilding techniques out there. I'm something of a professional myself. To be honest, I'm feeling a lot more confident in my abilities with this build today. I think it has a way better chance of turning out how I'm hopefully imagining it, and less like, um, less like I'm not imagining it. The nice thing about the ship, it's all symmetrical, and it also follows a pretty, um, like, straightforward shape. Like, it curves outward like that. If I can get it right on one side, so, like, let's say I did three blocks right there, I go over here, do three blocks, and then it looks like I did, like, a sharp turn. So, like, this block right here, it has to go. This one has to go, too. And, yeah, basically, get one side down, copy the other side. Hopefully, the shape is right. Every once in a while, I think I'm going to have to jump off of this mountain, go back down to the ground, and take a look at it from the bottom. My plan for this build, I feel, is pretty common sense. Make sure the shape is perfect, then come back in and add a bunch of details to the ship. Make it look really, really good. Make it look perfect. And then we're done with the ship. <gasps> no way, no way. Look at this. Look what I found. There's a goat over here. That's really, really cool. Uh, hopefully, this goat doesn't go too far. I would love to, like, build a house for the goats or something. That could be really cool. It's also one of the first times, basically, ever that I'm ever seeing a goat. I didn't see them very much in 1.17. But anyways, while I work on the ship, let's continue to talk. This time, I'll lead in with a question. Do you notice anything about today? Like, does anything seem a little bit different? Especially, like, right now while I'm building? Maybe I feel a little bit more snappy, a little bit more quick? I'm talking about the movement? Well, yeah. That's because I have a brand new keyboard. Roll the footage. Look at this keyboard right here. Beautiful. Now, I'm not going to be able to mention what brand this keyboard is because I'm not being paid to do that. I mean, after all, I have pets. I can't let them starve. So I can't mention the brand, but this keyboard, it is nice. However, it's mechanical. <laughs> I didn't even realize it uh, when I was ordering the keyboard. Like, obviously, I, I know what a mechanical keyboard is. I, I didn't think about it, though. Uh, you know, I, I record videos, and ideally, to make the videos, you know, it needs to be quiet. If it's not quiet, like, if there's clicking noises in the background... I don't know, I feel like it decreases the quality of the content. I got this new keyboard, and it's nice, really. It's, like, way nicer than my last one. I like the aesthetics of it all and everything, but it's mechanical. 
What do I do about this? No, like, uh, genuinely, w what should I do about this? Uh, do any of you have any experience in, like, making videos and having mechanical keyboards not show up in your mic? Uh, because if you do, uh, could, could you explain this to me? Do you see my ideal situation is not to have to get an entirely different keyboard? Because I really like how this one looks. I mean, maybe this is just another one of those absolute swelling brain moments that I've been having a lot lately, but... I didn't consider how loud this mechanical keyboard would actually be. <laughs> I was actually a little bit worried about this keyboard being too loud for the video, so I came up with a solution. Record half of the episode with the mechanical keyboard, half of it without it. So, uh, yeah, long story short, if you have a mechanical keyboard and you know how to make it, like, quiet down a little bit, not show up in the recordings, uh, maybe could you let me know? Uh, that would be really helpful. Thank you. But anyways, other than my potentially clickier than normal keyboard, my life has been really good lately. How about yours? I'm super excited about this series. I feel so inspired for this world. I have so many cool ideas. I want to get this build in today and then move on to the next one. Like, I'm, I'm just so excited about it. So inspired by this world. I keep seeing questions about my piano progress, though. How's it going? Well, I mean, I would say it's still going pretty well. I'm still learning it, so uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm working on it. I feel like I'm getting better. It's really fun to learn. But speaking of music, Jordan and I recently started watching that Beatles Let It Be documentary. Mind blowing stuff like it's so hd it feels so surreal to see that and also i like had no clue that paul mccartney was like a musician see here i was genuinely thinking that paul mccartney was just some older fellow that kanye west helped out had in a couple songs a couple years ago maybe to like help him with money or something like that but no like wow he was genuinely a musician and he was in a band too that's crazy i love life i learn something new every day I keep forgetting to move the bed up to the top of the ship. <laughs> well, I'm down here. A little bit of a progress update, though. I mean, I feel like it's starting to shape up. It's definitely looking like a ship. I can't decide if I want to start incorporating staircases in the design, though. I feel like staircases might start to, like, overly complicate it. So I think what I'm going to do is leave it, like, slabs and, and solid blocks. I mean, I think it's looking like a ship. Definitely. The more that I get in the build, the more it starts actually coming together. I'm also starting to run low on wood, which is kind of unfortunate. So time to cut some more trees and then get back to building the ship. Oh my gosh, such a sweet moment. Look at this. The snow, the snow, it just started snowing. I didn't even consider this. The boat's gonna get covered in snow sometimes. Uh, I mean, that's okay. I, I don't hate snow. I think it looks really, really nice. But the boat. So I've been busy building on this thing before it gets covered in snow. Check this out. I built a grand entry ramp right here. We go up, we go over, and it kind of like swipes down like that. It swipes down again. And then we're over to the boat. The shape of the boat, I mean, I don't know. Uh, you could tell me. Like, you'll be the judge of it for sure, but... Looks like a boat to me. In all of my time up and down the mountain, I learned one big thing. Remember to move the bed up. I finally did that. So snow. Snow is going to happen up here every once in a while. That's actually, like, really, really cool. I'm excited about that. I think that's going to be cool. Now, the boat. The shape of the boat. It's looking pretty good. I think it's about time to put the floor in, build the back building, and put the masts on the boat. Also, I kind of lied. So, I said that I would do the details after, and I decided to just do the details as I was going. So, I put slabs down there. You saw that earlier. Trap doors up there. Little windows. I think I'm going to have the storage room in there. And then more trap doors right there. Trap doors on the bottom. Insanely terrifying in, in, in the case of the other side of the boat because I could fall and hit the ground. <laughs> uh, would it be a good fall? However, let's talk about the build. So I'm going to need a lot of oak fences for this next part, and I'm going to need the birch wood that I got. Also, I'm thinking eventually, once we have that beautiful iron farm built, we'll put, like, more light on here, and that'll keep the snow off of the pathway. I don't exactly want snow on the pathway. On the boat is fine, though, but not on the path. Ah, uh, but anyways, we need to save room in the lower part of the boat for an actual room. That means I think we can put the floor right here with birch planks. Uh, maybe I'll come up with a pattern or something, but floor right here with birch planks. That's going to go straight out across the boat, and that's going to leave a lot of room. I could probably I could probably raise this middle area up with something else in here, maybe like spruce or just logs or something uh, that I could walk around in here. I could put chests on the side. That'll be perfect. I could even jump up, actually. Or maybe I raise the floor like two blocks, because then I have like a big flat spot. I, I'm not too sure. I'll figure it out. But that's what I'm thinking. I mean, I'm not too sure. I'm probably just going to have to put things in and mess around with it to figure it out. But that's what I'm thinking. Also, the fences on the side are going to let the birch sell through from the outside. And I think it's going to look pretty nice. And that brings us to the part of the build that I was actually about to begin. So on the side of the boat, I'm going to have these big uh, mess. I'm going to put one in the front, even with this spot, and then one in the back, even with uh, that spot back there. But I'm going to have these big mess. I think what I want to do this time to make the ship look like really, really good, fence We'll have fences going up on the side, kind of like, you know, this picture right here. You see those ropes? Well, this time, the ropes are fences. They've always been fences, and actually, in that original picture, we pulled that back up, they've always been fences. You were lied to. We're going to do a bunch of oak fences in here. I think it'll look cool. 
So that's going to be part of the plan. Now on the back of the boat, we need to have a proper room. Inside of the room, we have a room. On top of the room, we have even more space. It'll be pretty cool. I'm thinking big window in this room. Uh, probably window with fences. I think fences are going to look way better than glass pane. So we'll do fences there. We'll do fences right there. And we'll do fences right over here. Then on the side of this room, I'll take this wall going like straight up even more. Probably strip spruce wood. I think that'll look good and it'll look different. And then maybe up on top of this thing, barrels. I, I was meaning to use barrels in this build because they look so, so good. But I didn't really have like a good spot to put the barrels. However, best news for the barrel all day. I think it's finally time for the barrel to shine. If I place them like that, yes, yeah, yes. The line connects like that. I think that'll look really, really good. This will go straight up as well. We'll probably do like more fences on top. Maybe not oak. Uh, maybe like, I mean, maybe birch. We could maybe do birch or we could just do oak. I'm not... I'm not too sure. I don't want to go too crazy with the oak fences. So fences up top, we'll figure it out. And then the top floor is going to sit right up here. We'll be able to walk around here. We'll have a floor down here inside of this room. Maybe I lower it. Maybe I don't. I'm not too sure. But this is a big boat. Like, this is a really, really big boat. This is exactly what I was going to need. And I've done it. I'm actually really excited about it. Now, these masks. The masks are going to be basically identical copies of each other, I think. Uh, what we do on the front, we'll basically just copy over, do on the back. Uh, I'm thinking centered right in the middle of this thing. That's going to make the fences line up pretty nicely. Uh, then what we'll do is go maybe like five blocks off of the ship. I, I feel like that's like pretty good. That's like a lot of space. Maybe one more. Uh, then we'll make like a cross section. This will be the bottom of the lower mast. Then... I'll go up and, and I'll do something with the with the mast here. Maybe I'll have it go like out a little bit. I think that could be kind of cool. We'll have it go up. I'll do a smaller flag on top and then right on the top, the, the little crow's nest building so we can look around even more. L look at this view. <laughs> this is insane. 1.18 with the terrain. Like even if I can't see it right now, <laughs> it just is so cool. Another thing that I'm going to need to figure out here is uh, how to finish off the ship. So I have a pretty good idea. Uh, we're going to have like a piece sticking off of the front. I think the piece on the front could look pretty cool. The mast, uh, I'll have to go straight down to the bottom of the ship wherever I end up putting the bottom floor. I'm not too sure. And then I'll have ladders. That'll be the way up and down. I'll do one right there and then one right there. I'm thinking maybe like I, it could be cool to have like oak trap doors in the middle maybe. Like a, like a big skylight looking down into this room. I don't know if we're going to put like all of the chests inside of it today, but it might be kind of cool. I mean, I'm biased for sure, but I'm kind of surprised at how good the shape of the ship is starting to look. Like, from every angle that I look at this thing, including from angles where you can actually see a little bit better, kind of like this right here, I feel like the ship looks pretty good. Everything has been going really, really smoothly today. Uh, other than one thing. <laughs> Fortunately, no big great tragedy when it comes to the sheep. Like, they're living down here and they're smiling. Like, look at that. The smile. It's so nice, but the whoa. Uh, I have 64 and 10 more. I might have miscalculated. I, I think I might need a little bit more wool than I thought on this thing. I, I mean, I guess we'll see. I mean, what can I say? It's pretty hard to remember to come down here every once in a while and check on the sheep while I'm building. After I get a little bit more wood, I'm about to put the mast on the ship. And then what I think I might have to end up doing is basically just stand around and wait by the sheep and shear them continuously until I have enough wool. Usually I would say no big deal. I'll just get around to the flags later. But today, no, I want to see the whole vision. You know, uh, having these mob head drops on, yeah, it's it's a different feeling. Kind of makes me feel a little bit like a monster, but uh, anyways, the ship's done. Well, correction, the ship is actually almost done. You see, without a bed, a ship is just a ship. Once we move the red bed inside of the ship, it becomes a home, and of course, I couldn't do that without you, no way. Now, this is home. Okay, so there are actually a few more things that I need to do to the ship here. I need to add a floor up here for this top part. And I also have snow all over the place. I, I'm really sorry about the mess. It just keeps snowing. I liked the snow at first, like the first time, like genuinely. Um, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about the snow anymore, though. Like snow all over the boat constantly. Eh, maybe I could miss it. But I mean, at the same time, no complaints because now we actually have a starter house. So, so throughout the next few episodes, we're going to work on this building. We need to add things to it. Right now, it's going to stay a little bit empty. What I figured I could do around the boat to make it a little bit more homey is maybe add some of these mob heads. These mob heads are going to be like pretty much the best thing in the world for decoration in this world. I think it's going to be pretty nice. Oh, yeah. By the way, the mass of the ship. Check this thing out. We have two flags right there. One flag, two flag. It took a lot of wool, like four stacks of wool almost. I way underestimated. And it added on like seriously, like probably an hour to the project of just standing around waiting for those sheep to regrow their wool. And now, of course, look at these things. They want to eat nonstop, of course. So that was uh, a little bit of an unexpected plot twist, but thankfully Etho recently uploaded an episode, so I was able to catch up on that. Stonecutter time. This is the very first stonecutter of our kingdom over here. This is nice. And oh yeah, I upped the render distance. You can see the mountain a little bit more. It looks really nice. And over there, there's a hill and a tree on top of the hill, and it's like basically perfect. I'll have to show you sometime. But anyways, the ship, please allow me to give you a tour. So here's the boat. It's a boat. We walk up to the boat just like this. We have the fences going up, the masts over there with the two sails. I think that's pretty cool. Over here, we have a ladder that goes down. Below the deck, we have snow. 
<laughs> Nothing else, but eventually we'll fill this with chests and it'll be glorious. It'll be perfect. Up here we have uh, more of the ship. I actually decided to not do anything with the floor, but what I am thinking about doing is probably raise the floor up to this level right here with like spruce wood or maybe just more, more oak logs. I'm not too sure. So that's where we're going to put all the storage stuff once we actually have things to store. Up here on the deck, I put a few random decorations to kind of show off my vision. Eventually, I'm imagining things sitting on the deck, maybe like diamond blocks, maybe crafting table, barrels for sure. You know, just like random things sitting on the deck. I think it'll be cool. Over here, I figured eventually I could put like a map wall. That could be kind of nice, but uh, I don't really have a map yet. Or excuse me, excuse me, how could I? Uh, we do have a map, but I made the map and it's basically worthless to me. As soon as I made it, I went off of the map. So yeah, eventually we'll get a map wall on the ship. I think it'll be pretty cool. I need to add one more crow's nest up on top of this. Originally, I was a couple blocks short. Not a problem anymore. I can add a couple more blocks at the top of this thing and add another crow's nest. Now, the crow's nest, I, I don't think we actually have a way into these things. I mean, I don't think we have a way into these things yet. I can see it now. One day, it'll be glorious and it'll be perfect. We'll have an elytra. We'll be able to fly around. And then I can envision it right now. I'm flying around and I perfectly land. First try inside of the crow's nest. It it'll be pretty sweet. Then I'll fly over to the other one and land there too. Now, inside of these nests to prevent fires on this ship, uh, we're going to put lightning rods. I left all the game rules alone. That's how I like to do it. So lightning rods. That's going to hopefully keep the ship safe. <laughs> I hope. And snowproofing. So I'm not going to do it right now, but I have decided that if I ever get tired of the snow, I could easily come back and put carpet layers on top of the sails. That'll be fine. Maybe like uh, spruce buttons on top of the logs. That'll fix that problem. With a game rule fix in 1.18, it's going to snow a lot more in this world. I'm not sure if I want the snow on the boat or not yet. Oh yeah, up here we're going to put some stuff too. And so that brings us to the thing that hangs off the front of the ship. What do you call it? Well, honestly, not a clue at all. How do we build it? Very simple. Cut copper. But that's not all. Cut copper and a lightning rod too. Uh, and second thought, uh, maybe change that block into a slab. I think that'll look a little bit better. But there we go. And so that's gonna do it for episode number three of Minecraft Survival. We're not homeless anymore. This feels good. It's the very first time I sleep forever that I'm not homeless. Today I'd like to send a special thank you to DJ Amsar and my patrons, Ground Crazy May and Archangel. Thank you all so much for watching the episode today. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you enjoyed the episode. It really helps them out. And subscribe for more better views of the ship coming soon. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone.